Welcome ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do in this video is show you how to solve two-step equations. And when solving two-step equations, the main important thing is we're applying our inverse operations, just like one-step equations, but we also now need to apply the reverse order of operations when we're doing that. Simplifying an expression or an equation, when we simplify to get it down to this point, we always apply the order of operations. Well, when we're solving, we got to use the reverse order of operations. So I gave up six examples, and these are random, so you're probably going to have some weird answers to them. But um, the first step when solving, these are all two-step equations, though. And that is our goal when we're getting to solving equations, is to get it to a two-step equation so we can solve, especially for the multi-step ones. Um, so the first thing on the revert, if you remember order of operations, PEMDAS, the last thing you always do is add and subtract, right? Um, reverse order of operations is, would be subtracting and adding, right? So what we want to do, or the reverse order of operations, so what we want to do is apply our inverse operation in the reverse order. That means I need to undo what is happening to my variable by addition and subtraction. So we look at each variable and we say, all right, for each variable, what is being added or subtracted? That's what I want to undo first. So you can see here, negative 5 is being subtracted, so I'm going to add. Here, my x is being added by 1, so I'm going to subtract. Here, my x is being added by 2, I subtract. Here, my x is being subtracted by 3, so I add. Here, it's kind of confusing. This is a positive 2x, but I'm subtracting a 5 because that's a negative 5. So I'm going to add. And here, you can see the subtraction, but really, that's a positive 5, so I got to subtract. All right. So we undo the operation. Just like one-step equations, though, we have to use the properties of equality. Whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other side. So I go to the other side of the equation. And I do the same process. Okay. Then we go ahead and simplify. And we have 3x equals 20. Um, x over 2 equals 6. 2x equals 12. Negative 2x equals 1. Uh, negative x over 5 equals 13. And negative 7x equals uh, da, 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 27. OK, so now you can see in each one of these, I now have a one-step equation. And a one-step equation only has one operation that is happening to the variable. right? So you can still see we still have the same variable, but we got to get the variable by itself. So we applied the last operation that is happening to the variable. In this case, my variable is being multiplied. Oh, I'm sorry. So we undid addition and subtraction. The next thing is to undo multiplication and division. So you can see here, my variable is being multiplied by 3, so I divide. And just like we did the properties of quality for addition and subtraction, we got to do the properties of quality here. All right? Here I'm dividing, so I multiply by 2. Here I'm multiplying, so I divide by 2. Here I'm multiplying, so I divide by negative 2. Here I'm dividing, but I'm multiplying by this negative 1. I can just put that negative um, in the 5, so I multiply by negative 5. Here, I'm multiplying by negative 7, so I divide by negative 7. All right. Now, my goal is not to go ahead and solve each one of these. Um, I'm going to try to make, I'm going to cut this video off. But you guys can see from each one of these, now, as I apply this inverse operation, that goes to 1, and I'm left with x equals 20 over 3. Again, I made up these problems. Now, let's just solve them. x equals 12 um, here x equals 6. right? When you undo the inverse operation of multiplying and dividing, that goes to 1, which leaves your variable by itself. This just becomes x equals a negative 27 over 7. Um, that's going to be 50. That's going to be 70, 65, 50, 65. So x equals a negative 65. And here, x equals negative 1 half. OK? So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is just a basic demonstration on how to solve two-step equations. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.